नमस्कार आई एम अनुभव रंजन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग रिथम टेररिस्ट लीडर हसन नसरल्लाह डेथ हैज स्पार्क रिएक्शन वर्ल्ड वाइड विद सम सेलिब्रेटिंग एंड अदर्स मॉर्निंग बट बियॉन्ड द पब्लिक आउट क्राई वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन हाउ सर्टन सेक्शन ऑफ द मीडिया हैव पोर्ट्रेड नसर अल्लाह अ मैन नोन फॉर हिज टाइज विद हिजबुल्ला लेबल्ड अ टेररिस्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बाई ओवर सिक्सटी कंट्रीज येट सम मीडिया आउटलेट सीम टू हैव टर्न हिम इन टू अ हीरो लेट्स टेक अ क्लोजर लुक prominent outlets like the new york times and the guardian have written extensively about nasrullah's life the new york times described him as a powerful orator and highlighted the influence among shia muslims in lebanon portraying his rise in hezbollah as a journey of social service and regional respect but what these articles didn't emphasize enough was hezbollah's designation as a terrorist organization by the us european union and israel The Associated Press went a step further with headlines seemingly presenting Nasrallah as a savior of humanity rather than the leader of a terror group. Their article praised his strategic mind and his respect among the Lebanese population. Similarly, BBC Gujarati called Nasrallah one of the most influential figures in the Middle East, credited for transforming Hezbollah into a military and political force. The issue here, these reports focus on his social and political impact. while downplaying hezbollah's violent history the reality is starkly different in 1983 hezbollah was responsible for bombing the us embassy in beirut killing 49 people later that year they launched another attack leading to the deaths of 240 americans then in 1992 hezbollah bombed the israeli embassy in buenos aires killing 29 2 years later they struck again this time at a jewish center claiming 85 lives Fast forward to October 2023 when Hamas launched a brutal attack on Israel the very next day Hezbollah joined the fray launching attacks from Lebanon yet some of these media reports seem to gloss over these acts of aggression painting Nasrallah as a misunderstood leader the fact remains Hezbollah's existence is rooted in the destruction of Israel with a history of violence aimed at civilians as Israel fights to protect its citizens we must ask is it not the responsibility of the media to present the full picture to give readers the truth rather than a whitewashed version of a dangerous reality jai hind